Work continues on our rainwater harvesting cistern. Now it's time for us to focus on finishing off the gutter. We're gonna have an amazing cement roof and gutter system that will collect rainwater. But there's still a lot of work to be done. So let's get to it. What's up, Green Status? I got out about five in the morning. Just started working, because it's gonna be a hot one today. Probably over 100 degrees, I'm thinking maybe 103. But do you know what I'm doing? Do you have any guesses what I'm doing? Sad to report. Yeah, I thought I was done with the rocks. Just lied to me. If you remember, I brought her out here, and I said, you look good? It's good. You look finished? She gave me the okay. She said we were done. She lied. So I'm out here by the Gabion, still filling some rocks. She felt like when we started putting the wire over the gutters, that it wasn't high enough to maybe support where they were going. So we're gonna add more rocks, so maybe we don't have to add more mesh, because I don't want to spend any more money on just getting a little bit more mesh. I think we got it, last load maybe. <laughs> I'd rather do free rocks. A little bit more elbow grease, but I think it's worth it in the long run, at least for us. I thought shoveling dirt was a workout. Shoveling rocks is a whole other level. When do you think we'll be able to get back to the laid back work of filling bags with dirt again? I need a break. This is the last cart full I brought in from the truck. I get this put in here and hopefully, hopefully this will be enough rocks for her. Watch out, we got the vicious guard dog outside. Here he is, he's on guard duty. Now make no mistake, Crew here is a guard dog. He will guard us and protect us from intruders. He doesn't like people he doesn't know. But he also watches us and makes sure we're doing the right thing at the right time. No spending too much time indoors. If he's out here, we need to be out here and we need to be working. If we're inside, we can't be eating without him. There are certain rules we have to follow. And crew's very strict. You did right. Crew's gonna make sure we're getting it done and on time. And now he smells something. Always on duty, this guy, always on duty. Still nothing. Getting toward the evening time here on the homestead, on the off-grid homestead. 
building our earth bag rainwater harvesting cistern. How many keyword phrases can I get into here? Got to got to appease the the, the YouTube algorithm, right? <laughs> the almighty algorithm. The almighty algorithm. But you're out here working out. You're making some serious progress out here, girl. So what are you doing here? What are you doing? We're making the gutters here and pretty much using the racks to shape the gutters and kind of support it. So we're putting this stucco mesh wire over the rack area, giving it a little dip. Now dip, baby, dip. Slide, slide. So I'm just connecting the wire on both sides. This is what I really want to know. Are you seriously twisting all the wire from this mesh? Are out of there? Yeah, how else is it gonna <laughs> stay on? Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness, she's doing every single one of these by hand. Let's let's take a let's get a good scope of this project right here. Let's get a good scope of this. Okay, this is only partially done right here. Look at this. Tell me who has the patience <laughs> and the wherewithal to do all that. Oh man, not me. You are something else. In a good way. <laughs> I'm kind of uh, excited about these gutters though. Oh yeah. I mean it's... Sweetest gutters ever built by human hands. <laughs> Can we make that claim? Sure. Why, Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Jessica's working on that wire and I'm gonna bring some gravel over. So at least I think I'm done with the big rocks. I don't gotta go out hunting for big rocks, I don't think. But I'm gonna use some gravel, bring that over and just kind of fill in some any kind of low spots. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm. So we're getting down to the wire, literally. <laughs> we're literally getting down to the wire. I'm gonna cut the last few pieces here for Jess. We'll get these attached. And that'll be, we'll be in a good spot for these gutters. Jess, you've been out here for a while, knocking it out. And you've been supercharged this morning. What'd you do? What'd you eat for breakfast? It's cooler today. Oh, man, isn't it? It's like, well, okay, let's put things into perspective. The high is supposed to be 90. <laughs> but I think that we've had such high temperatures lately. 90 feels feel like so. a nice, cool break. <laughs> oh, this is really your baby. You really uh, took that time and energy to really sculpt those gutters with the rocks and then, like single-handedly wrap each of the little strands of wire right around the, the rebar mesh. But it's done, it's looking great. So I've got this silvery sheen on top there. <laughs> kind of looks a little bit like a spaceship. Uh, we still got a couple more things we gotta do here. We're probably gonna add another uh, layer of mesh over there. And a lot of people have been asking, hey, you're gonna have a way to get in there? You're gonna have some type of a manhole? Yeah. So I gotta cut the wire going into the pipes, all the inlet pipes, and I also have to cut the wire that we have planned for the manhole. What do you think, the next video, Ferro Cement? I'm not, I'm not making any promises, <laughs> but we're getting there real quick. Uh, That's I think the next step, isn't it? It's the next step. We'll catch you in the next video, everyone, where there might be Ferro Cement. See you then. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
<laughs> what a horrible ending to the video.